And we're back. Um, if you were joining us a few moments ago, I'm glad you did. Thank you for the patience. Uh, internet and I don't seem to be getting along particularly well in these days. Um, if you are joining live now, welcome. This is our midweek moment to pause and reflect together. And if you're watching this later, as it's recorded, perhaps you're watching late in the evening or even at night when you can't sleep, know that we are glad you're joining us. Um, again, I'm Reverend Jennifer Finley and this truly, even in the midst of technical difficulties, has become a cherished part of my week where we ask together where we see God working in us and the world. And as I've said, I'm, I'm wondering in these days, as the wind blows around us, and blows all these fall leaves around. Um, I'm wondering, where are we sensing God at work out there in the swirl of all the things? And where are we sensing God work in our hearts and our minds inside of us? Because there is so much swirling. And again, if you're anything like me, um, sometimes it's even hard to sleep because there is so much going on, swirling in our hearts and our minds. I went for a run earlier this week in the middle of our cold front moving through with the wind blowing and it was dark and on the surface it seemed crazy and yet it was beautiful and joy-filled and life-giving. And it got me to thinking that in the midst of all that is swirling, in the midst of the whirlwind and the leaves blowing and all the things, what do you need permission to do that others might think, huh, I wonder about that? What do you need permission to do? Do you need permission to dance and celebrate something in your life that's going well? Because there are things in our lives that we want to celebrate with each other. Do you need permission to cry? Because there is, there's so much right now. Do you need permission to go for a run in the wind? Do you need permission to dance or to scream? or to build a blanket fort. A few years ago, our college students had a tradition each year of building a gigantic blanket fort in the living room of our campus ministry house. And then they would crawl in and hang out there. And uh, that's tempting right now, isn't it? Perhaps you need permission to do something like that, to play with each other, to play with your families. I'm outside today because I love the leaves. I love the crunch and the sound of the leaves. And at some point, I'm gonna rake up my yard and I'm gonna go jump in the pile of leaves. And yes, I am 38 and I still want to jump in the leaves. Because with so much swirling in our world and in our hearts and our minds, there are times we need permission to do the things that give us life and joy as well as the things that release the frustration and the anger and the grief and the hurt and all of those things. So I'm wondering, what do you need permission to do in these days so that God can meet you in the whirlwind? And where do you need to hear that from? Perhaps you need to hear it from friends or coworkers or a spouse or a family member but perhaps you also need to hear that permission from God, that it's okay to be where we are and to do the things that we need to do to play, but also to mourn and grieve and all of the things. And so I wanna pray these words for us, with us, that I felt God saying to me in prayer time when I was preparing today, for today, so let us pray, friends, and I hope that you hear this as a message from God to your heart, whether it's today or later, when you need to hear it. Oh God, allow us to hear that we are your beloved children. Help us to hear your voice saying to each of us, beloved child, I love you. Dance, cry, shout, play, mourn, I am with you in the wind. Amen. Amen. I hope that 
wherever this finds you, whenever you are watching and joining together, that you truly know that in the midst of the wind, you are not alone. Go in peace, my friends. Amen.